Uh, you're listening to RadioSLCC.com, your online student source. Now, right here with me, I have Nadira. Is that how you say it? Yes, it is. She has been the director, uh, producer, and the one who interpreted the script. Um, so just after this first piece, how did you like it? Well, you see, what happens is when you have a good cast, they can make almost anything happen. And I had a really, really good cast. And so they made what I had in my head come to life. Awesome. Awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, so you, so then you're overall very happy about the production? Oh, yes. Um, last semester, we did the original Hunger Games, the first book of it. And this semester, we're doing the second book. And... Most of the cast came back, and it was, and it's been really good, and I enjoyed working with everybody. Cool, cool. Um, so, just one really quick question: um, between the production you did last time and just this first episode, uh, did you notice any differences? Was it better, or what? Well, the end product is the same quality, but going about it was a lot different because the first time we did it as if we were going to do it live with a live Foley in studio. And this time we did it with a live Foley, but just not at the same time our actors recorded. And it's just been a different process and a different learning curve for me. Cool. Um, so which one would you advise people do in the future? Well, it depends. If you're going to record, uh, just video it, a more entertaining way to watch it, or if you want to do it live on radio, then I would say have a live Foley kit uh, crew with you. If you're just going to do like we have as a pre-recorded production, then I would do it the easy way and have your actors record and then your Foley record. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so it looks like we have about seven minutes left. Um, so... Can you just uh, explain a little bit about the very, very beginning of the process? Um, what was it like to pick up the, the book for the first time and decide you were going to change it to something? Well, what happened was last semester I was in the radio production class, the COM 1160, mm -hmm. and I decided I had wanted to do a radio drama. And I went looking at rodeo dramas and... I looked at War of the Worlds, and I looked at all the ones that have been done a million times, and I just said, you know, radio drama will be fun, but these have been done so many times, let's do something different. Hunger Games I read, had read and I liked and I enjoyed, and it happened to be, Catching Fire happened to be coming out last semester, and so I decided, let's do Hunger Games, and I got a good response with a good cast, and uh, we had four different departments working together on this. We have... Uh, film, we have communications, we have theater, and we have music working together on this project to make it happen. Cool. Um, so what do you think are the advantages of having a radio show instead of like a movie or just like a written book? Or what, what is the advantage of having radio as your storytelling medium? What I liked about radio is, first of all, it doesn't cost as much because you don't have to come up with all those special effects. You just have to come up with the special effects sounds, mm -hmm. which, generally speaking, do not cost as much as all those visual effects. Mm -hmm. And then you have people can use their own minds. They can hear a voice and they can picture PETA looking however they picture PETA looking. And they don't have to picture him the way Josh looks in the movie. Mm -hmm. So it's a more visual, uh, more theater of the mind and fun for people to hear it and still use their imagination. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and one of, one of that's exactly why I decided to start into the radio uh, business at all is I just I think that connection in the mind and just like creating images halfway, you're you're letting somebody's imagination create the part of it and you're doing part of the work as well and i think i think it's a really interesting and amazing well way to tell stories it is i have a question for you mm -hmm. you are gail in this production so why did you want to be gail um so i uh have done a lot of acting i've been an actor for 11 actually 12 years now so um 
I, it was just, it was just a way for me to be able to connect with a new medium and be able to explore this new medium of radio for me. Um, so that was part of it. It was like, I, it's something I already really, really enjoy. Uh, and then kind of creating, but coming at it from a different angle. Um, and also I, I do a lot of, I listen to a lot of radio shows and I, it's becoming my very, very favorite kind of storytelling. And so whenever I found the opportunity, I jumped at it. I thought it was such a cool idea. And I think, I think that I'm, I'm really proud of what our school has been able to do and particularly how much work you've put into it and what it's, you've been able to do. Um, so, so how is it, um, to kind of collect all these different departments you were talking about. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people behind you and a lot of people saying, you can do it and you need someone who's really excited who can spread the word and get those people together and just have a topic that and subject that people want to do. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so um, I'm going to start wrapping it up. Um, is there any last words you'd like to say just before the end? We just hope you really enjoy our labor of love because it's been a labor and we love doing it. 